Once upon a time, in ancient China, there lived three old monks. Their names are not remembered today, simply because they never revealed them to anybody. In China, they are simply known as the three laughing monks. They always travel together and did nothing else but laugh. They entered the village or a town, stood in the center of its main square and started laughing. Slowly but surely, the people who lived and worked there and the passers-by couldn't resist and had to start laughing as well until a small laughing crowd had formed and eventually the laughing had spread to the whole village or town. That was the moment when the three old monks moved on to the next village. Their laughter was their only prayer, all of their teaching, because they never spoke to anybody. They just created that situation. All over China, they were loved and respected. The people had never known such spiritual teachers before or after. They seemed to communicate that life should be taken only as a great opportunity to laugh, as if they had discovered some kind of cosmic joke. So they traveled and laughed for many years, spreading joy and happiness throughout China. Until one day, while being at a particular village in the north province, one of them died. The people were shocked and came running from afar, leaving the fields unattended for the day, only to witness the other two monks' reaction to this dramatic event. They were expecting them to show sorrow, or even cry, and the whole village came to the place where the three monks were, two alive and one dead. But the two remaining monks were laughing only harder. They were laughing and laughing and could not seem to stop so that a few of the good people who were assisting to this scene in disbelief approached them and asked them why weren't you mourning at all for their deceased friend. And for one time the monks actually responded because yesterday on our way to your village, he proposed the bet on who of us would beat the other two and die first, and now he won the old rogue. He even had a testament prepared, a tradition required to wash the dead and change his clothes before putting him on the funeral pyre. But the old monk had explicitly asked to leave the old clothes on him since he had never been filthy for one day. I never allowed any of the filth of this world to reach me through my laughter, his testament stated. So the old man's body was placed on the pyre with the garments he was wearing when he had arrived. And as the fire was lit and started licking on his clothes, to everyone's astonishment, suddenly fireworks of a hundred colors went exploding up and down and to all directions. And finally, the people who had gathered there also joined the laughter of the two wise men. You see, in life, in your life, maybe the only reason that we are here on this earth is so we can laugh and laugh and never stop experiencing joy and laughter. So the next time you face a problem, look in the mirror and just laugh the problem away because your joy is what makes you alive. This is there to do motivation stories. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.